Hello everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox and today we're going to be looking at how to visualize the four most common scales that you're going to want to know to be able to uh, solo along and pick out melodies uh, to songs in the key of C major with the ukulele. So we'll be looking at C major, C major pentatonic, uh, C minor pentatonic, and the C blues scales and I'll show you how to visualize those all up and down the fretboard. Um, today I'll be doing that on a uh, tenor ukulele that has a low G tuning, um, but the same finger positions and, and placements apply to soprano and concert ukes uh, or tenor ukes that are tuned with the high G or re-entrant tuning, but you're just not going to be able to get some of the low bass runs uh, that I'll be able to do with my uh, low G string, which is why I like that tuning so much. So let me show you how it works. Okay, to see how to visualize uh, C scales in, in, um, all over the fretboard, we're going to use a Fretboard Toolbox Complete Ukulele C Tuning Edition. And first we'll look at page 19, which is the key of C major page. And uh, in a previous video I showed you how to, use, how to build these chords uh, using these notes. And, uh, and today what we're going to look at is the, on the fretboard jig, we're going to look at the notes in white boxes because those notes in white boxes are the major scale. So major scale notes are uh, the notes found in white boxes and the special C box is because the, uh, I want to be able to find that C note all up and down the fretboard. So if I look on the fourth string fifth fret, there's a C. If I look on the third string open, there's a C. If I look on the first string third fret, there's a C. And so I can uh, look here and see, okay, there's a C here, a C here, a C here, uh, second string, eighth fret. So I can find C's all over the place. And then if I want to go from one uh, C to the next, um, I can see what are my major scale notes here. So if I want to play a C major scale, I can play um, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. And uh, that would look like this. So on the fifth fret here, we've got here's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So that was just C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. I can do another C major scale here, C open, and then D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and that's a nice position because there's uh, a lot of open notes there. So that was third string open, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And the reason I want to know those notes is because I can, I can make lots of different melodies just by playing those notes. So if you just take some time and maybe pause the video and start goofing around with these notes and uh, see lots of different orders that you can play them, then um, some cool things will start coming to light and you'll start recognizing some melodies. Uh, so all white box notes are going to be my C major scale uh, notes. They're also going to be the A natural minor scale, which is why this is my A minor root in the key of a minor is called the relative minor of C major, but we'll worry about minor keys in another uh, video. So uh, C notes, white boxes are the C major scale. Then the uh, underlying notes are what's called the pentatonic scale. So my C major pentatonic scale is going to be any notes you see here that are underlined. So major scales are made out of taking notes in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. That's do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, if you know that system. Um, and pentatonic scales are made just by taking notes in the one, two, three, five, and six columns. So pentatonic scales skip the four and seven notes in every key. And you hear people in lessons talk about pentatonic scales all the time, so it's important to be able to visualize them. And the nice thing about pentatonic scales is that they don't have a lot of sour notes. So if I wanted to run from C to C again using only pentatonic notes, I would go C, D, E, G, A, C. So that's open, second, open, third, open, third. And that would look like this. And the reason you want to know those notes is because because you can do all kinds of little soloing runs with pentatonic scales and, and uh, if I play C and then D I can slide up to the E and then play G A C. I'll show you that real quick. So that's C sliding from D to E, G A C. And 
then if I get to that C and I want to run C, D, E, so that was just C, D, and then I hit D and slid to E, and then if I want to get back to that C, I can play E, D, C. And then if I want to finish that off with a C major chord, looks like that. So being able to see the major scales, uh, major key and the pentatonics together is really helpful. But sometimes you're going to hear some bluesier kind of sounds and, and want to know where those came from. So if you look on the uh, C blues page on page 20 uh, of the toolbox, here in white boxes we're going to have the notes of the C minor scale. And so the uh, C minor scale is made of the notes C, E flat, F, G, and B flat. So the difference from the major scale is going to be uh, no two note. We're going to play the flat three note. We're going to skip the three from the major key. Um, we're going to play the four. We're going to play the five. We're going to skip the six. Play what's called the flat seven and then skip the seven. So if you want to know uh, what the scales are made of, if you look on the scale chart here, you can see major scales are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns. Min uh, major pentatonic is one, two, three, five, six. Minor pentatonic is one, flat three, four, five, flat seven. And then the blues is, uh, is going to add this flat five note or a G flat note. So if we want to just look at how do I visualize a blues scale here, um, if I come down here, in white boxes, I'm going to have the notes of the C uh, minor pentatonic in white here. So to play, to get run from C to C in the blue scale, I'm going to play C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C. And after I play this first E flat, you'll already hear where that blues sound kind of comes from. So here's C, here's E flat. So that's C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C. Again, that was C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C. Oops, that was playing an A there, so that one didn't sound uh, right in my, in my little run here. So C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C. And then once I get to the C, I can slide up to E flat. And then I could run to the F here. And then I could play F, E, e flat. B flat, C. So I can just uh, play all over here. So that was just walking down here, getting down to the C note. Um, I can play all over when I can see that blues scale, and uh, and th that's going to sound good with with any kind of bluesy chord progression or like a, a kind of a blues rock progression. And I'll show you how to play through these in a later video. But the quick thing is, if someone if you want to know how to see the C uh, minor pentatonic scale, you're just going to look at the white boxes here. And then if I want to add in that blues note, that flat five note, uh, it's shown with an asterisk. So I can just play C, E flat, F, G flat, G, B flat, C. So that's like this. So that's C, E flat's a blues note, F's a major note, G flat is a bluesy note, G uh, is a uh, regular major scale note, B flat is a bluesy note, C's the root again. So that just finished off E flat C. So it's a lot of fun to just uh, pick around with uh, songs that are in um, in the key of C and be able to see where those notes are. And then the cool thing about a toolbox is that um, there's a page like this for um, for all 14 of the uh, major and uh, uh, my, relative minor and blues keys. So anyways, I hope you found something cool in there today and uh, if you have any uh, questions, please shoot me an email and if you uh, found something useful, please subscribe uh, to the YouTube channel and if you want to pick up a toolbox of your own, check out the Fretboard Toolbox website. Thanks again for checking it out.